often when you're working away creating music, a, a moment of inspiration strikes and you come up with something that you think, oh, I like that. I'm going to keep that for later. I'm going to use that somewhere else. What you would have done in the past before the advent of computers was to have grabbed a piece of manuscript paper and scribbled it down and then tried to remember where you kept that. But of course, things have moved on now and we're using Sibelius. So what I would do here, in this case, is I would use the Ideas Hub. Now the Ideas Hub is accessed from the View tab. And it's a panel, so you go to Panels, and there it's there, Ideas. What we have here are over 4,000 pre-existing built-in musical snippets called ideas. I'm going to look at how you can deal with those and what you can do with them in a lot more detail in a separate video. But this is all about this idea. What you can do with your own ideas. Now you'll notice there are three tabs up here. There's the library tab, which shows you all the pre-existing built-in ideas. There's a score tab, which are ideas specific to this particular score, at the moment there aren't any, and all has both of those combined in one list. So, I need to take my idea here, I'm going to select it like so, and I'm going to capture it. Now, I could use Control c but it's better to use the Capture Idea, because you get used to using this wee toolbar down the bottom. Alternatively, I could go to the Home tab, and I could capture that idea from there. Or if I really want to use a shortcut, it's Shift-I. And let's watch what happens. I'm going to capture the idea. I'm now looking at the All tab, and I can see my idea there. So what can you do with it once you have it? Well, if you click the mouse and hold it on one of the ideas, it plays it back to you. And if you keep on holding, it will repeat it, which is nice. Um, and that will then be available to you to use in other parts of the piece, other parts of the music. But if you look at any of these other ideas, you'll see, for example, there's a name there. They're all different colours as well. There's all sorts of different information. Well, that is accessed from this icon here, the light bulb with the cog on it, is to edit the idea info. So you click on there. I've got to give it a name. So let's look at the name. We're going to call it um, Jazz Guitar Riff 1. You can call it anything you like. The colour button here lets you set a colour for it. You could set your own specific colour, or you could use one of the pre-existing colours so that it joins in with the categories that are over there. I'm going to use um, this colour, bright fluorescent green. Click OK. The tags. Now, what you want to insert here are words or very, very short phrases, one or two word phrases, that describe what the idea is. So, for example, in this case, I would put things like um, guitar, jazz, riff, major, so the major key, um, chord, maybe chordal as well, um, various other tags. You can put as many as you like in there. All of these options down here are set. These are not editable because the key is in B flat major, it is in 4 4, the tempo was set to 100 BPM, etc. etc. Okay, so I'm just going to click OK now and watch what happens to my idea over here. It now takes on the name, the background colour, and all of that has now been set. So that's how you can create and edit the idea information, but if you think, do you know, I like that, but it's not quite right, this one here, the light bulb with the pen through it, you click on there, it opens the idea up in a new separate score, 
and you can actually edit the notes. So for example, I can take this chord here, take it down, let's make it sort of musical. Let's make it a nice chord like that. So there's, I've made my change. Don't worry about having to go to File and Save, because all you have to do, you'll notice it's opened in a new tab, but if I close, if I click the Close button here, it first of all says, do you want to save the changes you made to the jazz guitar riff, the idea from? Well, yes I do. I'm going to click Yes. Then it says, do I want to save changes to the main score? I'm going to say Cancel. I'm not going to say Yes or No, I'm going to Cancel that, because I don't actually want to close that at all. And you can see, that the change has now been made over here. So these are all how you can edit just your idea while they're in the score category there. If however I want them to appear so that I can use them in other, other pieces, what I need to then do is make sure it's highlighted and click this button here which will add it to the library. So now when I go to library it appears there all the time. So for example I can now close that down, open up a new piece, immediately open my ideas panel and there it's there ready to use in a new score. So for more details on how you can use ideas in here make sure you watch the other uh, video on using the ideas panel.